so many discoveries currently being made about the nature of the universe, um, how the physical universe has been expanding all these many billions of years, and how stars and galaxies are formed from that. Nobody really expected this groundbreaking revelation. The Webb Telescope has discovered 15 anomalous galaxies that existed before what we conventionally understand as the Big Bang. This monumental finding signifies the dawn of a completely new era in cosmology and science at large. With the existing paradigm on the brink of transformation, our fundamental understanding of the universe's origin and the mechanisms that initiated creation could undergo a radical reassessment. What if the Big Bang, long regarded as the genesis of our universe, never occurred? Are we potentially glimpsing into a parallel universe that operates under different physical laws? Such questions arise amid a growing sense of bewilderment within the scientific community regarding the shortcomings of our current models. Dr. John C. Mather, a Nobel laureate and the lead project scientist for the Webb Telescope, encapsulated the surprise during a recent press conference. Thousands of galaxies in this little tiny area of the sky, and you say, well, if I took a picture of the entire sky like that, there would be hundreds of billions or trillions of galaxies altogether. He noted, we thought we'd see that far, but we didn't think we would see what we're seeing. Researchers expected early galaxies to be diminutive, cooler, and dimmer than those now being observed. Instead, they are astounded by the unexpected characteristics of these early cosmic structures. Dr. Mather remarked, the big surprise is that the early galaxies grew much quicker than we thought they would. They're bigger, brighter, hotter, and more massive than people expected. The images captured by the web reveal a series of galaxies that are both enigmatic and ancient, leaving scientists puzzled. Many of these galaxies are too intricately organized and structured to merely be nascent galaxies emerging a mere 300 to 400 million years post Big Bang. Traditionally, scientists anticipated star clusters would be home to what are referred to as Population 3 stars, hypothesized to be the first stars born in the universe. These stars were supposed to be colossal and luminous, but with relatively short lifespans. The astonishment continues with another revelation. The web has identified a galaxy with remarkably low luminosity, which contradicts expectations regarding young star clusters dominated by bright supergiants. Furthermore, an extraordinary discovery includes the detection of six black holes that were already so massive that they challenged previous timelines of galactic formation having emerged as behemoths just 500 million years after the Big Bang. This compels researchers to question the origins of the matter that contributed to their rapid growth, as established cosmological models suggest that billions of years are typically necessary for galaxies or black holes to evolve into such significant structures. The Webb Telescope, with its observational capabilities extending approximately 13.5 billion years into the past, does not dramatically outperform its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. However, it offers enhanced clarity and detail in its observations. The oldest galaxy identified by Hubble, known as GNZ 11, dated to around 13.4 billion years ago. In contrast, Webb has unveiled dozens of galaxies in the farthest reaches of the cosmos, with some exhibiting remarkable redshifts of up to Z20. Fifteen of these ancient galaxies have been confirmed, and the scientific community is poised to explain their unexpected existence. These galaxies become visible to us through the light they emitted in the distant past, with telescopes serving as time machines that capture this ancient light. By looking through these cosmic tubes, researchers gained vivid insights into how the universe appeared at its infancy, piecing together the narrative of our cosmic history through light signals that have traversed billions of years. Additionally, there is another vital indicator of the universe's early conditions the cosmic microwave background radiation. This remnant radiation, a relic from the nascent universe, is an almost uniform field that permeates all of space. The existence of the CMB offers a critical snapshot of the universe shortly after the Big Bang, providing additional context to our understanding of cosmic evolution. Together, these findings from Webb promise to challenge and potentially redefine our comprehension of the cosmos. It continues to transmit signals from remote occurrences throughout space. In 
1965, American physicists Arno Penius and Robert Wilson discovered it somewhat unexpectedly when they detected an unusual noise in space. Gigantic radio telescopes receive it as a faint microwave signal emanating from all areas of the sky. Their discovery validated several important theories, including the Big Bang Theory and the idea that the universe is expanding. The background radiation reflects the condition that existed around 380,000 years post-Big Bang, when the universe gradually began to emit photons and generate light. Thus, even with the background radiation, we cannot observe everything all the way back to the Big Bang. However, cosmic background radiation aids in reconstructing the early universe's makeup, density, and temperature. Researchers can derive thousands of insights from cosmic structures and from minute variations in their uniform distribution. Thus far, these observations have contributed to explaining prevalent cosmological models. Yet, we must also reconsider these findings. At the same time, while scientists investigate the latest enigmas of light, including luminous galaxies or brightly radiating dust disks around black holes, radio astronomers can persist in probing space to use cosmic background radiation to delve even farther back in time and uncover clues about what transpired during that era. Many people may not realize that exceptionally ancient galaxies have been identified not just since the advent of the Webb telescope. In 2016, a team led by Pascal Usch and Garth Illenworth managed to identify an extremely ancient galaxy using the Hubble Space Telescope. With a redshift of Z equal to 11.99, the light from GNZ 11 traveled for over 13 billion years before reaching Hubble's observation mirror. This redshift designates GNZ 11 as the furthest known galaxy. GNZ 11 intrigued scientists not only due to its vast distance, but also because of its remarkable physical characteristics. Despite being relatively young in cosmic terms, GNZ 11 is unexpectedly bright and substantial. At the time we observed the galaxy, only 400 million years had elapsed since the Big Bang. This indicated that GNZ 11 is likely one of the oldest galaxies from our perspective. Yet, at the time, it was relatively young and remarkably advanced. Scientists believe that it required billions of years for complex galaxies like this one to form, with an estimated mass of around 1 billion solar masses and a star formation rate of approximately 20 solar masses annually. It also exhibits unexpectedly swift evolution and activity. Observing and studying GNZ 11 in 2016 posed significant technological difficulties. The light from this galaxy is not only extremely faint, but has also been shifted to such an extent into the red spectrum that it tested the limits of the Hubble Space Telescope's capabilities. Researchers were already intrigued by this unusual find in 2016, but at that time, GNZ 11 was merely one galaxy among many and regarded as an anomaly. We now understand that thousands of highly structured and massive galaxies probably existed in the early universe. The Webb Telescope is currently surprising researchers. Each new discovery is causing the scientific community to rethink its previous knowledge. Those who believe they understood the characteristics of those early galaxies and stars are now being presented with a different picture by the cosmos. Jade's GSZ-11 is a high redshift Wyman break galaxy that was identified by the James Webb Telescope on September 29, 2022. This discovery was part of the Webb Telescope, Advanced Deep Extra Galactic Survey, which is also known as JADE's mission. As the name implies, JADE's GSZ-11 has a redshift value of 13, indicating that the galaxy existed roughly 13.4 billion years ago, only around 400 million years after the Big Bang. Only the Webb Telescope was capable of capturing the light from this extremely distant galaxy using its specialized infrared observation techniques. Redshift is an astronomical phenomenon closely associated with the universe's expansion. It occurs when the light from stars or galaxies shifts towards longer, redder wavelengths. This effect is likely due to the universe's expansion, but it can also arise from the motion of objects in gravitational fields or through the Doppler effect, where the light source's movement is relative to the observer. The effect was first detected in the early 20th century by astronomers such as Westo Sleifer and subsequently by Edwin Hubble. Hubble discovered that more distant galaxies show a redshift that correlates with their distance from Earth. This discovery led to the Hubble Law, which not only explains the age and movement direction of galaxies, but also forms the foundation of the universe's expansion theory. Just when researchers thought the findings couldn't become more perplexing, yet another surprise emerged. 
Sears 2112 adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of galaxy formation. This barred spiral galaxy, while not as ancient as GNZ11 or Jade's Z13, is situated at a redshift of 3, making it a near equivalent of our Milky Way in structure. Interestingly, Sears 2112 is estimated to have been approximately 2 billion years old when it emitted light that we can observe today. The high redshift underscores that it originates from a period when the universe was relatively young, but yet already over 2 billion years old. The stellar mass of Sears 2112 is estimated to be around 3.9 billion solar masses. This substantial mass suggests that it was in a relatively advanced state of development during a time when the universe was still in its infancy, raising intriguing questions about how such a galaxy could achieve considerable mass and structure so soon after the Big Bang. Typically, galaxies may require billions of years to evolve, leading to the conclusion that these observed galaxies may be older than previously thought, potentially existing even before the Big Bang itself. Several hypotheses have been proposed to explain the apparent age of these young galaxies. One, the universe is much older. Recent discoveries from the Webb telescope have prompted researchers like Rajendra Gupta to propose that the universe itself could be significantly older than we currently estimate. Gupta's theory suggests that light may tire as it travels through space, which could lead to inaccuracies in our distance measurements. Two, the universe has no beginning. Although the Big Bang theory is widely accepted, it lacks definitive proof beyond the observations of cosmic expansion and background radiation. Three, there was another beginning. In addition to Lemaitre's concept of the universe expanding from a singular point, various theories propose alternative scenarios for the cosmos's origin. One such theory suggests that the universe might have multiple sources of creation, which need not have all originated simultaneously. For more insightful discussions on this topic and others, be sure to subscribe for future updates.